Warfare was established as a special staff agency. This move had far-reaching results. You consider yourself a Marxist. Oh, I would very definitely say that I, uh, I uh, am a Marxist. That is correct. This American citizen Obama depends on your next decision. What if the whole purpose of government was to negate freedom? What if freedom was a myth? What if the Constitution meant nothing to the government? What if everything the government has or owns or controls has been stolen? It's what we're doing here, and let's not kid about it. We're building a domestic army and we're shrinking the military because the government is afraid of its own citizens. This is what we have to look forward to all over the place. Look how quick, within a matter of days, they were able to go into a martial law status here in Ferguson. They had this entire bridge, this road blocked off. You are the parking lot. They're coming to flank. <laughs> Joe Biggs got shot with a rubber bullet. Now I'm running down the street. Man, quit shooting at me. Quit shooting at me. I'm here to warn people. You keep telling me to shut up. This isn't a game. The answer to 1984 is 1776. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. forces here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. And that's the principle of InfoWars life, as far as I understand, that you've always had, is that it's not about synthetic chemicals and forcing actions. It's about letting your body do its own thing and giving your body the tools it needs to create these different compounds that are super valuable and super beneficial. You will find Brain Force and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888 888- Two five three three one three nine. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. We can talk about the Planned Parenthood story because we are funded by the viewers like you. And the viewers want to hear about stuff like this because they're sick and tired of it being pushed under the rug and not covered by the mainstream media. Here it is from Steve uh, Ertlett uh, from Life News. Ninth shocking video, Planned Parenthood sells intact aborted babies. One just fell out of the womb, and we're going to go to that clip first. But, Leanne, let's, before we do that, recap the other videos there's eight other videos that each one seems to just get more shocking as they come out right well the ninth one was just released so you'll recall you know they talk about being really good at getting the heart lungs and liver uh then we had another crushing the head yeah we don't crush them you know a less crunchy technique is what we'll use the other the next the second video the lady said that she wanted a lamborghini that was the big hashtag trending on twitter uh then in the third video we saw um, Former STEM Express employee Holly O'Donnell talking about how she fainted in horror over handling baby legs and all these parts. Um, And then in the fourth one, they talk about how they don't want to, you know, sell these baby parts for a flat fee of just like 200 bucks per item works better because then they can see how much money they can get out of it. 
Um, and then the, the fifth video, uh, they just basically are talking about how good they are at getting intact fetal cadavers and how the research department there uh, basically adds so much to the bottom line. They're one of the biggest affiliates in the state. Uh, in the sixth video, technicians, uh, the Holly O'Donnell once again is talking about technicians taking fetal parts without patient consent. She said there were times when they would just take what they wanted and these mothers didn't know and there's no way they would know, right? Like how are you, I mean, you were expecting them to have ethics to say, oh, the mother didn't sign off that she was okay with us taking this baby part. So we'll leave that. Psh, yeah, right. Not when there's a lot of money to be made. Um, and then in the seventh video, Holly O'Donnell describes the harvesting or procurement of these organs and how uh, one of the doctors there was like, you want to see something cool? And then tapped the heart and had the heart start beating once again. God. Um, yeah. So it just starts beating. And, and that was when she really was like, I got to get out of here. And then the eighth video, uh, STEM Express CEO, Kate Dyer admits Planned Parenthood sells a lot of fully intact aborted babies. They're the volume institution where they're getting all this from. It's like the most disgusting version of the island of Dr. Moreau that you mm -hmm. could come up with. Uh, and this ninth video focuses in on ABR, uh, which was founded in 1989 by CEO Linda Tracy, charges $340 per second trimester fetal tissue specimen, uh, yet seems less concerned about the tissue quality, uh, other, uh, quality than other harvesting companies. So whenever we have a smooth portion of liver, she says, we think that's good. So, or that's, a, that's Larton. That, that wasn't attributed to her. So let's go to that first video. Let's play that, and we're going to continue on trudging through this. Ugh. I literally have had um, women come in, and they'll go to the OR, and they're back out in three minutes. And I'm going, what's going on? Oh, yeah, the fetus was already in the vaginal canal whenever the food put her wow. in syrup. It just fell out. I'm going, what's going on? Oh, yeah, the fetus was already in the vaginal canal whenever the food put her in Ugh. And, and ABR stands for Advanced Bioscience Resources. So hiding it in plain view, mm -hmm. you know, they're not saying baby harvested ink, but just disgusting the way they do this. And, and this next video talks about how, oh, guess what? It was the bushes that created the loophole that allowed them to do this. Yeah, what a surprise. I, what a surprise. I remember that. I was very young then, but I remember there was this whole uproar about, you know, everyone was really angry about uh, doing this research on these embryonic stem cells. It was all about stem cell, stem cell. And kind of like, look over here and we'll preserve the fetal tissue. Right. Because that's what they really... It's all lawyer talk. Yeah. It's all lawyer talk. It really is. So let's go to that video now. The really <laughs> weird thing is, embryonic, there's still a lot of controversy about yeah. that, you know. But then fetal kind of got lost in the mix. You know, you have Was it ever controversial? I mean, I'm, I'm it was young, never, so I don't know. It was never... Um, it was never outlawed. During the uh, Bush administration, Bush uh -huh. one, Bush one. It was um, it was no federal funding could go to stem cell research. Uh -huh. Even though the government was paying for it, fetal tissue weren't put in that little box huh. of embryonic because it's different. Uh -huh. Now they're trying to um, make abortion illegal. And that's where we get our tissue. That's gonna I'm gonna be out of a job. I'm not gonna be able to harvest babies anymore. Yeah. Uh, boy, I think you could call this this whole section uh, George Bush's abortion loophole exposed because they, I don't know if they they get enough credit for this. They like to hide behind their, their pro-life stance, mm -hmm. but they really aren't. They really left the gates open for this whole industry to just flourish of, uh, of, of harvesting aborted babies. And the mothers, it's like what Alex said, the mothers aren't getting any money from this at all. Right. They don't see any benefit it's just these companies that are that are perched over these abortuaries like vultures just ready to pick apart yeah. uh baby carcasses and right it, well ugh. and the Planned Parenthood CEO they sent a letter um to Congress this August 27th where they talk about how they currently receive just 60 dollars per tissue specimen so you're thinking oh you know that's not that well per tissue specimen so that means a leg an arm, a liver, a heart, a head, anything that they're able to chop up and ship off. And turn into a specimen. They're bare minimum $60 per that. So yeah. it's, I mean, they're making hundreds of dollars. off. And, and it adds up and who knows where it's getting chopped up from there. It's, it's really right. disturbing to talk about this. No, it's now, now, so after the, so say the baby comes out and it's a preemie and it's alive. Well, we got to keep it alive. 
Well, now they're injecting them with vaccines, even though before they said we, we're not injecting preemies with these. Now it's just like every baby that's born has to get a vaccine. I think the UK just passed something where they want to give uh, the hepatitis B uh, right when they're born. Uh, I'm not sure if it's that. I'll have to I'll have to look in one second. But they just passed a new law where they want to make it mandatory. But here we have two articles that are written by Jeffrey Jackson for Infowars.com. On May 5th, nurse reveals routine vaccine-induced injuries. Talks about how the nurses are all aware that these vaccine-induced in injuries happen, mm -hmm. and they're ready for it. They just... Yeah. It's no big deal because they're ready to help the baby when it's having breathing problems or it, it can't breathe or eat on its own after that. And then later, we we got confirmation on it. So new JAMA study confirms nurse whistleblower routine hospital vaccine damage happening to infants. This is uh, came out June 22nd. David Knight had the nurse on, again, Michelle Routon. So this is the second interview he had on with her. I think when, when this came out... We have so much news that comes out. We didn't even realize how big it was. It, right. it took Jeffrey Jackson grabbing us and said, hey, guys, this is a big deal. Check <laughs> it out. And it is a big deal. And that's why we're talking about it again today and tying how it ties into this whole eugenics package, how they see us. Just like the caller Steve said, they see us as weeds. Right. So let's go to that video. This is about four and a half to five minutes from that longer um, uh, longer interview that was on, that's up on YouTube now. But uh, check it out. This is David Knight interviewing Michelle Routon. Well, I had mentioned that they go ahead and vaccinate premature infants on time, meaning that once they are two months old, they're ready for their two-month vaccines, regardless of the fact that they may still have supposed to have been inside their mother's stomachs and not even born yet. Mm -hmm. And some of the things that um, are we're seeing and are being said is are things like a um, neonatologist calling from the step-down unit down to level three to the more intensive unit saying, hey, I'm going to give these four babies their two-month vaccines this weekend, so I just want to make sure you had four beds ready because we know they're all going to have issues and need increased care. And that was bombshell information because that violates one of the core ethics of the medical foundation uh, profession that we've always seen and that is first do no harm they knew this was going to harm the children but they were going to go ahead and blindly or uh, follow this schedule absolutely you know and i mentioned that i had sat in a call room before with a bunch of providers saying hey we have this 25 weeker that was so strong they never required intubation with a breathing tube to actually go onto the vent had a less invasive type respiratory support and you come in and they're like oh how embarrassing we gave that baby his two month immunizations and now he's intubated on the vent for the first time oops yeah that, and it's just kind of blown off that was amazing so you told us that on may 1st and then you contacted me last week and told me about this jama study a journal of american medical association the official uh, organization of uh, MDs, and here they do a, a study about the adverse effects after routine immunization of extremely low birth weight infants. Tell us about that study. Well, that's it for our show tonight. Be sure to go to prisonplanet.tv and get yourself a free trial. You can see the nightly news, the special reports, the rants, all right there on Prison Planet. And also go to the Alex Jones channel on YouTube. You can see all the great reports there as well exclusive stuff, iPhone reports, and so much more. Well, I'm Jakari Jackson from the InfoWars Command Center, and we'll see you again tomorrow night. A clean, toxic-free body is the foundation of true health. Introducing Deep Cleanse by InfoWarsLife.com, a scientifically formulated blend of nanocolloidal zeolites and organic ingredients that aid the body in cleansing chemicals and toxic metals. Using our proprietary multi-step extraction technology, Deep Cleanse is our most affordable all-in-one cleanser. With concentrated organic compounds like cilantro, milk thistle, fulvic acid, orange peel, zeolites, and others, Deep Cleanse doesn't hold back. Instead of buying five, six, or even seven different cleansing products. We use decades old scientific research to put together the Rolls Royce of all in one cleansing. Look, there's a reason Deep Cleanse is the only product on the market that uses our proprietary Spigerex herbal processing technique. We use only the highest quality organic herbs backed by serious research and we still bring it to you at the best price out there. If you wish to find Deep Cleanse and experience the all in one cleansing, visit InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. 
You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.